Good morning from the Protoss newsroom. The date today is the 14th of December, and you're listening to the Protoss Daily. These are the main headlines this morning. The Bitcoin community marks 10 years since the disappearance of its pseudonymous creator. Putin signs new law, forcing officials to disclose their crypto holdings. And MicroStrategy stock rebounds sharply as it pushes ahead with new plans to buy Bitcoin. At the present time, Bitcoin is trading for just over $19,100, down 1.5% over the past 24 hours. Monero is the best performing top 20 asset for the day after being added to Pornhub's list of accepted cryptos, up 4.5%, while Stellar is the worst, down over 9%. The biggest mystery in crypto hit another milestone on Saturday with the 10-year anniversary of Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto's final public appearance. The last time we heard from Nakamoto, whoever he, she or they may be, was on December 12, 2010, on the Bitcoin Talk forum, when the mysterious founder posted a seemingly innocuous message about preventing denial of server attacks. Since then, nothing. Theories around Nakamoto's real identity have never been in short supply, with one of the more recent to gain traction concerning emails exchanged between Nakamoto and the late Hal Finney. The emails from 2008 and 2009 talk mostly about the scaling of peer-to-peer network, but what really got tongues wagging were the timestamps on the emails that it's thought could give us some insight as to where Nakamoto was based when Bitcoin was born. For the record, it was most likely London, or California, or America's East Coast. There's also the question of Nakamoto's sudden disappearance from the Bitcoin project in 2011, with one of the more colourful and long-running theories concerning the then-Bitcoin lead developer Gavin Andresen's visit to CIA headquarters for a conference, which some say could have spooked Nakamoto into disappearing. However, as with all things Nakamoto, we're just going to have to keep guessing. Whoever or wherever Nakamoto may be, one thing's not up for debate. They're sitting on a huge Bitcoin hoard. It's thought that their stash, which has never moved, could number over 1 million Bitcoin, worth over $19 billion at today's prices. As art collectors around the world struggle to make it to auctions because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the digital collector scene seems to be booming. This past weekend, prominent digital artist Beeple managed to sell hundreds of unique blockchain collectibles with a combined value of more than $1.1 million, with more than half raised in just under five minutes. Mike Winkleman, wildly known as Beeple, is a US-based artist creating crap, as he likes to call it. But demand for his art has persisted for months, echoing the crypto kitties craze that brought Ethereum to a near standstill back in 2017. Beeple's 2020 blockchain-based collection is inspired by video games, humanity and pop culture and includes works like Tom Hanks beating the shit out of coronavirus and chill for a second with this carefree baby goat. In a bid to bring his pieces into the real world, Beeple says he'll be mailing each piece inside a digital frame that will display the art on a rolling loop. Just hours after the sale, many of Beeple's recently sold pieces appeared on secondary markets for crypto collectibles, with resellers looking to profit from this year's NFT hype train. It's no doubt safe to say that Beeple is chuffed with the results, having posted a video of himself being showered with champagne in his backyard to social media. Cheers, mate. Wall Street giant JP Morgan Chase says Mass Mutual's recent $100 million Bitcoin bet could bring more than $600 billion into crypto. According to JP Morgan, more institutional investors are now paying close attention to Bitcoin since the 168-year-old Mass Mutual announced intent to diversify its asset portfolio with crypto, saying, quote, 
Mass Mutual's Bitcoin purchases represent another milestone in the Bitcoin adoption by institutional investors. One can see the potential demand that could arise from the coming years as other insurance companies and pension funds follow Mass Mutual's example. The bank's analysts calculated that if pension funds and insurance companies allocated just 1% of their assets to Bitcoin, it could nearly triple the cryptocurrency's total market cap to clear $1 trillion. This bullish sentiment further represents an about-face on behalf of JP Morgan. The company's chief executive, Jamie Dimon, has previously labelled Bitcoin a fraud, while its analysts in 2017 likened buying it to investing in air miles. What a difference one bull run makes. Vladimir Putin signed an order last week demanding local public officials disclose their digital assets. In addition to their own bags, Russian civil servants must also declare the digital assets of their spouses and children. A deadline to comply has been set for June 30th, 2021, with the new rules to be inserted into Russia's standard anti-corruption procedures. Last month, the Russian Ministry of Finance is noted to have submitted a draft bill requiring individuals and companies to report their crypto holdings should they exceed 600,000 Russian rubles, representing around 7,800 US dollars. At the time, anyone who was found to have not submitted their crypto holdings to the Russian tax office could have been hit with fines or up to three years of jail time, depending on the amount. The government did end up relaxing those rules, later dropping the fine to either $680 or 10% of the total amount of ingoing or outgoing transactions into an individual's crypto wallet, whichever is larger. In any case, Russia does seem to be setting the framework for a future where cryptocurrencies and digital assets are part of everyday life. How soon this might happen, as the Russian saying goes, we'll live, we'll see. Shares in MicroStrategy rebounded 9% during pre-market trade this morning, as the Nasdaq-listed business intelligence unit forges ahead with its plan to buy hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin. Citibank analysts downgraded MicroStrategy stock to a sell last week after concern grew that the company was taking on too much risk by investing so heavily in Bitcoin. The company's share price dropped 15% not long after. MicroStrategy has so far spent more than half a billion dollars on Bitcoin since August and completed a $650 million bond sale last week in order to buy even more. Still, the company's share price has multiplied almost two and a half times since it first bought the cryptocurrency, reaching a 20-year high. In that time, the price of Bitcoin jumped 80%. Billionaire chief executive Michael Saylor recently took to Twitter to strike back at claims he was turning his company into a pseudo-Bitcoin ETF. Saylor noted that ETFs strictly operate as investment companies which hold stocks, bonds and commodities, tweeting, quote, we just happen to hold Bitcoin in our treasury reserves. With a few hours left to go until markets open to the public, MicroStrategy sits at $311, 10% below its 2020 price record. Thank you for listening. To stay up to date with the latest from the world of crypto, make sure you subscribe to the Protoss Daily on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and all other major podcast providers.